Great, so now I have my game over finished, but you'll see that when I click the green flag, nothing happens anymore. I have to somehow tell the game I need to, to reset to start the game. So that's going to take another sprite, and you can, you can make it whatever you want it to be. I'm going to just choose this green dot. So this green dot is going to show up down here in the corner, and it's going to do something when it's clicked. Now the code for that is going to look like this. It's, it's under events. When this sprite is clicked, it's going to send a message to everything else. It's going to send a message to all the other sprites and the backdrop and the game to do something. And that is called a broadcast. So it's going to broadcast reset. Reset. So I, I clicked. The sprite is clicked. It's going to broadcast reset. That's going to tell everything over here what to do. Now, the paddle is still moving. That doesn't need to change. The bottom hasn't changed. What needs to change is the basketball. The basketball is going to wait until it receives reset, which is right here in the events. When I receive reset, what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to show itself. That's under looks. So it's going to show itself. And you'll see, we're about halfway there. Did you see how the ball was moving right here and then hit the bottom? We might want to tell the ball, okay, when you hit get, get this reset message, maybe you should move to the top of the screen. So let's take it to the top of the screen. And we could tell it, go to... Now the negative 24 and the 143, that was set by me putting the ball here. If I put the ball here, it changes those values. So the, the code block stays up to date. We're gonna have it go to that point and then show itself. The other thing that's gonna happen is in the backdrops, we want to show, we wanna switch to the backdrop called Neon Tunnel. So when, when we click this button, it's going to take the ball off to this top spot. It's going to go to the Neon Tunnel, and it's going to show the ball. So all of this code is in the basketball sprite. There we are. It's ready to restart. Game over. If I click the green button, ball is moving again, and we're still playing.